Welcome to Tea Time with Kojak. And now your host, Kojak. in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup Playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St Jude Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Well, certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. That was absolutely murdered. The approach into the first at TPC Southwind Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green, it's hard to get it close, but anywhere in the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. And should find the surface. They have absolutely flushed that one. Colin Morikawa, he was meant to be the original and best approach player, but I think we have a new sheriff in town. This putt coming up is for birdie. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real birdie chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Okay. That's a good looking shot there. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. A wonderful shot, a chance for Booty here at the second. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. Like the look of this one. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. 
The third hole at TPC South wins a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. Wonderfully played. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? This hole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That one should find the surface. They're not a bad shot, that one. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Well, there's the line, the green side bunker. Can they get this one up and down? Oh, you've made it. What a play. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? 18 feet to the cup. Putting for eagle. That always sounds good. Looking good. Oh, just missed. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Looking good. Well, that's an early statement right there. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a couple of strokes. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Good chance, this one, right on six feet. Nice one, fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, the fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Opting for the six iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That should set up another chance. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Our current leader is up by three shots. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. Or will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? 
Oh, some smiles here. A bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. And this putt is from Birdie 3 on the scorecard. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? to Colin Morikawa. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. And back to the course with the live action. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Pretty good shot there. And he's down there. You got a read? He's looking at 20 foot. This will be a good putt to hold. Ooh. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Three feet to go here to the hole. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. And he's safely on the green. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Oh, get in. Wonderful shot. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. Oh my, how about that for a par? That'll help make a big move. Our current leader is up by three shots. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dogleg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got around 125 here.
great looking shot this okay that'll work made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here this one's looking good look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard that's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. And back to the play, shall we? This one's for birdie. That's how you roll the rock. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Now six shots in front after that hole. The par 3 11th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. But looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. This one's got eyes for the flagstick. Oh, almost went in. That was special. This putt just five feet away from the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. It's got a chance. That's inside the range. finds him in first place. The par 4 12th is only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips, but you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary, there's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. That makes its way to the first cut. Well struck. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Didn't that look good for a long time? Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Well done. Take the birdie. Now at 
11 under for the day. The 13th, the TPC Southwind, is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach at the right distance. Oh, absolutely flushed. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for a par here. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? This one is right down the pipe. That was a beauty, right against the hole. Let's take a look at the current standings. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That was wonderfully done. Never seen a school card that doesn't look good with a two on it. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. The old-fashioned hammer hands. That'll ruin any putter's stats. And this one is for his par. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Accuracy is required at the par 4.15th. Just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the center of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. Oh, that was pure. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he just made bogey on that last one. right by the hole wow that really put some pressure on their playing partner i think this rivalry just got a bit of a boost with that amazing approach That's a great shot here at the 15th and sets up a look for birdie. Five feet coming up to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here.
That's pretty tidy. And down it goes. Now 12 under par with just a handful to play. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left. And if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Or maybe even a par can be hard. Going with the seven. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. This is tracking nicely. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Time for the fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. From around 170 yards here. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Wow, what a shot. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Well, that'll play. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. Nicely done. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Come on, get down. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green okay. race. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Tracking. 
Ouch, that hurts. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. These are on rail. And that's it. He's holding for the victory. Well played. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. And let's have one more look at that shot. Well, if you want to go and win the FedEx Cup, that's how you start the process. Go and win one of these playoff events. Massive step to earning the massive bonus at season's end. Unbelievable job. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time. The following has been a Kojak 313 gaming production. Distributed by Recom, a division of the Reese Design Group. Recom. Kojak.